Dalton Ross from Entertainment Weekly is here. Oh, so we're going to talk about some TV stuff. Ooh. All right, we'll talk uh, some TV with him next. Do we How's have some uh, audio he might be interested in? I'm wondering if we have some uh, any any audio in the entertainment uh, stuff, Betsy. That might have been just. I'm just saying that might be interesting to a guy from entertainment uh, tonight, Betsy. Entertainment He's from Weekly. Entertainment Weekly. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, pay attention, please. I'm sorry, Ben. I get nervous. Yeah. You get nervous. Oh, I get scared. Happy. He was all oh, proud that he was know. that he was producing yeah. a little Jeez, bit for the show. What a jawline on that chin! <laughs> oh, oh, I'm God. scared. That's Holy a, Christ! A pointy chin, man. I'll say this: dip that in ink and write with it. He's from the movie That's Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! I get really nervous. What a jawline! Wow. Oh, I think like he's Bruce cool. Campbell. I think he's got an extra piece there. Very handsome fella. Yeah. All right, so what time is uh, Ichabod Crane coming in? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got to get this guy in right away. He's been waiting Jim way Norton. too long out there, and we don't like people waiting outside the studio <laughs> ever. <laughs> Jim Norton. <laughs> ever. <laughs> My God, you're right, Jim. Jesus, what was I thinking? Jim Norton. Let's see. Uh, Jim Norton. Oh, Dalton. I know your name. What's up, Dalton Ross? How are you, sir? Hey, Jim's hey, getting all up? situated, Anthony. Of course. From Entertainment Weekly. What's up? Hello, sir. How are you? I'm hanging. Doing all right. What do you do with Entertainment Weekly? Uh, like I, I, I watch a, a hell of a lot of TV, and they pay me to do that, which works out pretty well. But every once in a while, I actually have to write about it. Wow, I figured out how to do that and not even have to write about it. Yeah, really? Just watch TV. <laughs> it's like pretty much my job is to watch TV and then come in here and just spout about things. That must make watching TV just like a job, though. Well, you know, it's you interesting. You can't enjoy it anymore. I, well, actually, I never even I never watch it at night. Like, that's, that's my downtime, you know? It's like yeah. I, I, I actually watch it either on DVDs or tapes before and or I, I, I fire up the TiVo and I watch it. And that way you get to cut out the commercials, which is nice. TiVo must be like a boon to your... Uh Industry. Yeah, it's. I'd you just have to record on video. Or I'd marry my TiVo if I could. Yeah. My oh, wife right. would let it. I'd like, move to Utah and do that. I like talking to other people that have stupid jobs like us. Like, yeah. Like you spend your day watching TV, and that is your job. Yeah. I, that just amazes me. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. No but. more videotapes though, which was just like. Ugh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Why don't just get rid of the goddamn videotapes. <laughs> Who doesn't have a DVD player? Jesus, um, rich guy. So a lot of people. Ra- ra- no, you know, Scott from Arizona probably you, doesn't. You might have been able to get me with that for all, you know maybe a, a few years back. Who, Anthony? Everyone above 100th Street here yeah. in New York City. Who doesn't have, have a butler and cook? They have a butler. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a butler. He has a cook though. The opium and the Bruce butler. Wayne show. Bruce <laughs> <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> so you actually... Uh, Sorry, Dalton, but... That's all good. You, no. so what's the, I hear there's a big buzz on this HBO show, a Louis C.K. pilot. It's supposed to be like a hot buzz in the entertainment industry about that. Well, you know, there's a hot buzz on anything on HBO. You know, pretty much, you know, anything that can get on there. Lisa Kudrow's got a new show coming on and everything. Lisa Kudrow on HBO? Yeah. What's she going to be doing? She's going to be doing sort of a show, sort of as an actress looking for a new gig, you know, one of those sort of pseudo-real, pseudo-fake uh, sort of shows, you know. Yeah, Entourage is coming back. Entourage is funny. I like Entourage. I like Deadwood. The CK thing was supposed to be huge. Yep, yep. Deadwood is Deadwood's great. good for... Love uh, Deadwood. Waiting uh, for the Sopranos to show up. Well, yes. You know, Deadwood's great, Deadwood. but if you, if you turn away, it's like The Wire. You turn away for one second, you have no idea what the hell's going, going on. on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Seriously, like, don't answer the phone, don't go to the bathroom, don't make any popcorn, or else you're just completely lost. Yeah, yeah, you, you'll, you'll get a trip up on the storyline. I like the use of uh, the C word, very uh, prominent. I counted. I actually counted one episode yeah. they, 39 times in about a 50 minute episode. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they throw that word around a lot. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> no, like, and he claims it's historically accurate. I don't know about that. It used to be used a lot back in the old that, days. That's what he says. So, so David Milch, creator David Milch says, I don't know about that. But I guess so. It's a damn entertaining program. Yeah, the Louis right. C.K. Project didn't really have a lot of that profanity. I mean, they had like a married couple and some other stuff. It was like, By the way, he's involved with that project. Yes, nah, I've noticed. Care less about it. I'm very so May Objectively. sweeps have uh, begun. Yeah, well, May's will begin this uh, this coming weekend. They're, right? they're beginning now. They're beginning now. A lot of finales. A lot of big events. You know, mm-hmm. we got that Elvis thing. Yeah, what is that? Well, you know, they did. Well, they, it seems like every ten years they got a new Elvis thing, right? It's yeah. like the the king, the king uh, is still in the building. I guess I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. You got two nights. You have to watch it. That's your job. Yeah, but we. All, I know it is watch my it. job. Watch uh, it. But I don't know if I would because I mean we all know how it's going to end, right? The dude's going to yeah. get fat. He's going to start wearing white jumpsuits and doing karate on stage. You know, like and what? Then he takes the wow. dump and dies. Sounds like the Ben Spark story. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, and a lot of people blame that his dying on those on the pills and stuff. I don't know. I I sort of think if you got a bowl of 
bacon on your piano for an everyday snack, you're not going to sort of hit triple digits in the years yeah. department anyway. It's sort of, mm-hmm. you know, you're on borrowed time to begin with. So yeah, Dr. Nicopolis, they all blamed. The doctor didn't make this. He gave him the pills. He killed him. But he, 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 the guy wanted to stop giving him pills, and all of a sudden, you stop giving me pills, I'll buy the goddamn drugstore. So yeah. What are you going to do, not give Elvis pills? No, you got to give Elvis Even if he doesn't want him, you should give him Yeah, the, Elvis is going to get the damn pills. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get the damn pills. Absolutely. What do you think about uh, American Idol? American Idol, you know, I'm just, I'm not into the singers this much this year. No. You know, they're trying to do sort of the rock and roll thing with, like, yep. you know, these some of these guys. It's just not happening for me. That show is all about the auditions. I watched the yeah. first, I don't know, two or three shows, and then I was done. Well, and I said it on this program, it. I was done. This guy watches every episode. It's you know, But, but you, you, what you just said doesn't make sense. It's just about the auditions. That's but, all I watch. I don't watch anything. I'm mean, the bad well, guys. Because you don't watch anything. Because all these dopes that think they have talent and making complete fools of themselves on national TV, I enjoyed that. But and then it takes another whole turn. It's like two shows uh, in one. You, you know, get through that, and then you get to the point where you start uh, seeing these people on a weekly basis. You know, you you, see, you find ones that are good, some that are bad, ones you want kicked off, and they keep going week after week. Yeah. Like that are you guy. are you rooting for one in particular every um, week? Let me. Th- Think. Oh God! Don't say no. that. Don't. Thank you. I'm really. I'm not rooting for one. I'm rooting for a couple to be thrown off. That uh, Anthony Fedorov has oh, got to go. Yeah, he's horrible. He stinks on ice. It's horrible. And then the fat guy. What's his name? Scott Sable. Scott. He's got to go too. Both of them. They're they're usually in the bottom right. uh, uh, of the voting each week. Yeah. And then. Um, what a shocker this week. Uh, hold on, hold well, on. Yes, we do yes. have a TV guy here, and we have to take this moment because oh, Ellen no. DeGeneres is about to dance is again. She here she goes. Again. She's terrific. Well, here she this. goes. Well, you never know when she's going to start. That's the beauty of we this bit. This up? Oh. Like, she teased that she might have... She was about to start dancing, then she stopped. Well, she's clapping for herself, too. Yeah. She's, fu- she's pumping <laughs> herself up. You know, this is sort of a pregame routine. I think it she's going through. It would disappoint the audience because they want to dance with her. Wow. Look at this. And on the uh, other screen in the other yet. corner, she's we have Tony too. Danza. It's like Battle of the Retards. <laughs> in this corner. What do you think of these shows there? Dalton? I think Danza and I are sort of wearing the same suit there. That's a little frightening. Yeah, huh? It's like, what's that all about? Mm. I'm not a big daytime talker guy. You know, I, I watch all my my stuff like uh, that I got to watch the nighttime stuff during the day. So you I watch that during the day so you don't yeah. really catch this drivel. That's all. Anyway, that's back to uh, Mercury. You want the show or do you just, right. are you on a TV show or do you just write for him? Uh, I write about TV shows. It's a magazine, Jim. Yeah. Entertainment Weekly. I know. No, you didn't. I He's got his own <laughs> stuff going on. He's got his own thing happening over there. I love it. Dude, Jimmy is so self-centered. I'm, I'm just a bad pop culture guy. I don't. I know I should know yeah. that stuff. I don't. Let, let me tell you about uh, Idol. The reason to watch Idol now is just to watch how insane Paul Abdul is every week. She's crazy, yeah. and I'm glad people are starting to address this. From the start of the show, I was like, this woman's on drugs. Yeah. There's something wrong with her. She, uh, according to this primetime special, that might not be the only thing she was on. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, well, yeah, uh, a little, uh, uh, maybe some sex uh, I don't know. going on between I don't her know. and one of the contestants. That's, that's, that's the rumor. Oh, or the God. judges. Maybe there's something going on. Yeah, yeah. There's a little, uh, they're going to do a whole expose. Uh, when is that? Next week? Yeah, apparently if it airs, if she's threatening to sue and stuff. We'll see what happens. Oh, it'll air. They're, oh, it'll they'll, air. They'll yeah. send their lawyers out and, yeah. and make sure it airs because now it's gotten so much publicity. It's going to do great. It'll be interesting to see what happens with Idol, too, because the finale is the same night as the Lost finale. Both two-hour finales the same night. So, I mean, but come on, the Idol finale, they don't do anything for an hour and 55 minutes. I know. Yeah, you, you know? sit around there and watch uh, Jack Off uh, uh, postpone the ending for um, 50 Secret. minutes. Yeah. Right after the break. Finale. Yeah. What's the Lost finale? Tw- uh, 20, 25th. The show 25th. Lost. You ever see that? I saw one episode. Oh, of it. Like, there's a show called Lost. I'm not yeah. kidding. I thought there was like a Lost finale Come on, for American Idol. I swear to God, Lost series. finale, the no, Lost episode. That's really a good one. Right. Found in Jackie Gleason's yeah, old you know, locker. No, I thought there was like a mistake or something that got that screwed <laughs> yeah. up and they fixed it. That's right. right. Yeah. Right. No, the people on the island. You know. I watched one episode of that show and I was like, I could give a crap. <laughs> it's about good. People on the it's island. good. Really, you like that? Yeah, one? I like it. I'm into it. Yeah. I'm into it. I mean, you know, you got to stick with it. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's sort of hard to pop in and out. Yeah, that's what it is. You can't yeah. kind of step into that show. Right. It's like you got to know the characters and stuff. What about uh, we've seen a, a, a little preview of Rosie O'Donnell's movie oh this Sunday <laughs> uh, where she plays the retard. Have Jesus. you heard the audio? It's really good. She's convincing. Where, we have oh, that clip yeah. again? Where is it? we got to play because it for we made, oh we made a little. Um, we noticed something here. Uh, if we could play the clip of Rosie. What's, wrong, what's up with her hair in that movie, too? Have you seen that? She's like, got like a Harper Marx, uh, Arnold Horshack. <laughs> it is a Horshack. thing going on there. It is a Horshack, you're right. And she's wearing Blossom's hat. Just so <laughs> she's more believable, that's yeah, all. Yeah, that's what it is. Here's the clip there, Here's Dalton. The clip. <laughs> what is this, Britney Spears? <laughs> no, not Britney I'm Cole Beth, and you're a Dolphin, and you're new. How'd you know my name? 
You're new, because I know everything. <laughs> listen, you had to stop on Carlton Street. Carlton's not a bus stop. Oh, listen, I had me. You have to stop there because Miss Pack has a swollen up leg and she has to go to the doctor at 11. So stop on Carlton Street, Rudolfo, and listen to me because I only tell you two times. That's it. Then you're on your own. Morning, Mr. Breakfast. <laughs> Can I have that Mr. Cheese cereal? Okay! <laughs> I pity the poor fool! Don't eat my cereal! <laughs> Very she's, similar, isn't it there, Dalton? Rosie's Playhouse? <laughs> she is completely doing Pee Wee. And That's... everyone's saying how brilliant she is in this role. What do you think, you Dalton? Know, what goes to, through your head it, when you hear used, something like it that? It used to be you played a, a mentally challenged, I'm going to use the PC term there, and, yeah. you, and you, uh, you, know, you were on the road to ro Oscar glory, but yeah. now, now it's just like, come on, Robin Williams is doing it again on screen. It's just yeah. like, wow, that's, just a, that's a tall order right there. When did Robin Williams doing, do it? He's doing that new David Duchovny movie. Yeah. Which is just getting uh, panned. Oh, uh, Ellen. Oh, oh, Ellen's dancing. dancing. Oh, she's Damn, she's dancing. smooth. Yay. She is smooth. And look at the audience is dancing with yeah. her. They're so she happy to be there. She is putting the honky and funky right now, she's ladies and oh, gentlemen. fantastic. You know, damn well she doesn't want to dance anymore. Why is she taking people's coats? I don't she's know. insane. <laughs> she's she's taking their coats off their chairs. It's tough times financially for Ellen. She's you giving know? them to someone else. Ellen. Oh, she's nutty. This is crazy. Oh my God, oh, boy! I can't even well, deal. I can't wow. deal. The public laps this crap up. Oh Just boy. laps. She's still going too. Oh no, she'll go for five yeah, ten minutes. Know. She's terrific. I bet you if you talk to Ellen behind the scenes, she hates dancing. It was one of those goofy things that worked, but now everyone's like, "No, it's a hit. It you gotta do it every every show time. now." Yeah. What a workout that woman's getting, though. Oh, well, let's be man. honest. Oh, Hollywood is so good with just knowing when to let something rest. <laughs> <laughs> as good as we are on this show oh, we're with our bits. That go on forever and ever and ever. All right, and what? What's about? What? What is it about this other? Uh, the the one guy from American Idol that it, the the guy that's not supposed to be on the show anymore. The, the fat the fat guy. Which yeah. one? Uh, the fat. He's in the Scott. post today. Yeah, oh, Scott. Bo, you mean Scott or Bo Bice? He's just awful. Bo Bice uh, got. Uh, yeah, he, he got, got he got rung up too. He had a record. He had a and not the kind he's looking for. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, <laughs> let me uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's he, uh, he was busted for uh, pot <laughs> and coke. But yeah. then he got off the hook because he went into some kind of drug treatment program, and they plea bargained it down. But it doesn't seem like American Idol really cares. He's one of the he's one of the standout stars of the show this season, so That's they're right. not going to dump him. That's right. They love the rockers this year, although the rocker got voted off this week. So yeah. you know, Paula didn't seem too happy about that. Mm -hmm. No, she was uh, again just a complete emotional breakdown. Well, she, she had. She looked like she was going to make out with his mom. Did you see that? He sort of she's huddling with her his mom afterwards and sort of doing a little uh, getting a little too close for comfort, if you ask me. If I could throw a little Jim J. Bullock in there, I don't he, know. Oh, he was fantastic. Oh. He was uh, <laughs> he a genius. He hasn't done anything since that. Show, which is a sin. Hey, I believe you forgot. You forgot Boogie's Diner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I don't think anyone oh. saw it. Yeah. Was that Con uh, Constantine was singing his song that got him kicked off the show, that Nickelback song, mm -hmm. uh, which he he did a horrible job on, and uh, that's why he got the boot. But this Scott Savol guy, what's his name? Savol, Savol, Savol yeah, Savoli? I don't know. Whatever's clever. He is awful. He he doesn't have the idol look. He uh, he his voice is awful. He can't stay on key, and week after week they keep voting, uh, voting for this guy. And he beat up his kid's mom, right? You know, he did something like that. Yeah, yeah. the kid. Yeah. Well, that's just like you know the cherry on top. Constantine's mom is um, was uh, crying, and uh, Paul Abdul went over and just started weeping into her face, like <laughs> holding her cheeks and saying it's okay. All right, now I gotta watch it. They again. keep focusing on Paul Abdul being a lunatic. I gotta watch that now. Yeah, that's, apparently that's the hook. Apparently yeah. Scott had a legal problem too. He beat up his baby mama. Yeah. Yeah, he beat, up his, yeah he beat up his kid's mom or something. Beat yeah. up his kid's mom. I, I don't think they care anymore. Like, they used nope. to throw people off for this, but now it doesn't matter. I, I think they're hoping to get people with records and then slowly but surely exploit this stuff as the, as the show goes on and mm -hmm. get the press going. He's a gangster. Hey, uh, so May Sweeps has, has begun, technically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyone doing anything uh, really crazy? Well, uh, yeah, there are a few things going on. I guess you got, first of all, Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. People can never get enough Britney Spears. She actually has a show... A reality show with her husband, Kevin Federline. I love. It. I'm going to give you, read you. The, this is from UPN, direct from UPN. This is how they describe the program. Oh, it's going to be airing sure starting May 17th. International icon Britney Spears and husband Kevin Federline share their personal love story through exclusive, never before seen private home videos they shot themselves during their courtship, engagement, and wedding. It's like where is the barf bag when you need it? Ooh. Right there. 
cares? Can you it's literally home movies. It's like home movies. Yeah, sitting yeah. down and watching Britney's yeah. home movies. Yeah. Uh, Good stuff. Oh. Good stuff. That guy, now that he's knocked her up, he's going to move on. He's going to move on to hot pieces of asses because now he's he's very famous because he mm-hmm. was, you know, he's the guy that uh, knocked up Britney Spears. Yeah. Now he's, he's on the cover. Some kind of career. Now he's on the cover by himself on all these magazines. He's because his uh, his star is uh, is rising. <laughs> You're right. Uh, and you know he will move on to young uh, young snatch. Well, he sort of did, he did what Chris Judd did. And he sort of you know kicked it up a notch. You know, he married the hottie and he got her pregnant. You know. You know what show is so underrated, and it's one of the best shows on television right now? Life on a Stick. Have you seen that on? So not with you on that. <laughs> so not. So not with you. Know, I can't even. Uh, I, I can't even fake. I it. actually watched Stacked. Have you watched Stacked yet? No. That's the Pamela Anderson yeah. one, and I said this actually almost makes Life on a Stick look good. Almost. Really? Not quite. That's really bad too. Yeah. Hey, I, we got the Life on the Life on a Stick promo, Anthony. Oh, we were supposed to play these weeks ago. Really? Yeah, I can't wait to hear this. Because you uh, notice how awful I, they they've been promoing this show forever, and the promos that they were playing on Fox during you know American Idol and and other shows on Fox, it was like they were trying to get you to not watch this. <laughs> it was so completely devoid of anything interesting or funny. That you would watch, and it looked, it almost looked like an SNL sketch or a Mad TV sketch of a show that wasn't supposed to be. Funny. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty it, right it, on. It was horrid. Maybe it's a Geico commercial. <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't know until they say, you know, right, why right, are you yeah. called Geico? Right. <laughs> All right, that. Let's play the promo here and take take a listen to this. For some, the dream is to become an idol. For others. It's Wieners. Look at all those customers. We're going to imitate them. Wieners, Wieners, Wieners. Some think and some are the... If we sing that, oh. the police will come. Introducing Life on a Stick. Once in a while, a hot dog comes along. Premieres tomorrow after American Idol on Fox. <laughs> okay! <laughs> He's singing about hot dogs. That's hilarious. That is so bad. <laughs> I could and and watching these, you're like, this has to be a joke. And the show's worse. Yeah. What's the show yeah. about? It. I think it's two guys that work in a hot dog type restaurant that looks like a McDonald's for hot dogs. I've never seen any type yeah. of restaurant like this. Uh, and it's their hijinks with their um, stereotypical Indian, I guess he is, or Arab. I can't even tell. Uh, a boss that yeah. uh, always, you know, goofs on them, and they goof mm. on him back, and they're really stupid. Sort of uh, trying to be like Beavis and Butthead type uh, characters. Dude, when, when did uh, when did Hollywood mm-hmm. become so irrelevant with any type of real character portrayal? Like when did it stop being anything that was real or meaningful? It's just shit. These over the top bad crap. characters. None of it's funny. No, it's not. It's not ironic. It, it's it's awful. Maybe, now we only heard one. Maybe do we have another one? Yeah, let's try another. Let's one. try let's another. Maybe it give was it a second chance. Maybe yeah. I judge too quickly. Yeah, Jimmy. Laz and Fred dreamed of having it all. They got wieners. This job sucks. Yeah, except for the hats. They're outstandingly tall. Introducing Life on a Stick. Your stepbrother has condemned us all to hell. We're not in hell. Premieres tomorrow after American Idol on Fox. They couldn't find one moment that might even give you a chuckle to put on their promos. Not a one. The only people I want killed more than those actors and writers is the fucking studio audience members that are howling oh, in the background. Howling. That had to be sweetened. There's no way. Oh, well, that's all machines. Yeah, that's yeah, all course. machines. Oh, nitrous yeah. into Your brother the, uh, doomed audience. us to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Hell's hot. Yeah, don't back to the weird. That's not funny. <laughs> Fox tomorrow. Everything they know about life. What if we deep fried everything in Mr. Hutt's office? They're learning at the food court. You will all go to prison for the rest of your life. Introducing Life on a Stick. What were you thinking? Just now? See, this is why I would rather not parent. It's just frustrating. Premieres tomorrow after American Idol. Look at Jimmy. On Fox. Jimmy is ready because to jump through the it's window. The, it's the cadence. It's, you know, music, music, music. Silence, and then the line yeah. is delivered. It's the same thing on every promo, uh-huh. and they suck. <laughs> <laughs> You're scaring Dalton. And no, it's, it's funny right, you mention right. that, but it's funny because that's the way all the promos are constructed. And even if you put a funny joke in there, by the way it's constructed, it's just not even funny. No, right. If you take like a, a one-liner out of a show with no context and just put it after some bad music, yeah, it's just like, what, what yeah. do you got? Nothing. It's just crap. Yeah. More they deserve it. Love Life on a stick. Yeah. Premiering on Vag. Shut the fuck up. 
Yeah, oh. yeah, more on uh, May sweeps there. Yeah, well, hey, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you about another show going by by Star Trek's getting canceled. Yes, the latest installment. Y- yeah, Enterprise. Enterprise May thirteenth will be the finale. It's actually funny. Our you know our West Coast office is right across the street from UPN, and one of our writers was driving in and he saw two people out front picketing UPN. <laughs> so I'm thinking if, if you're UPN and you see only two people out front like bemoaning the cancellation of one of your shows, yeah. you probably made the right call. You can't pull the plug quickly <laughs> yeah, enough. You know. Yeah, there was, uh, well, any time any of the Star Trek shows go off, you get the geek letter writing and geek protesting, but there's really not that many, like you said, two guys out there. And this show, you know, I, I'm a I'm pretty big Star Trek fan, uh, but just never really got me. Yeah, it started off with a little promise, but it just sort of, it just, it just never hooked on. I was sort of a next generation guy. I sort of liked that one, but yeah. uh, I, you know, this, this just did nothing. I like the me. next generation, original series, of course, yeah. classic, and then the movies, uh, all of them, I like, yeah. uh, except the first one. Another show Rath- going Rathacon, by. baby. Rathacon. is like the best. Yeah. Like, Feature <laughs> tasks me. Yeah, the first one, it's like, hey, could you fire a fucking phaser? Could you yeah. do something? It was the most boring trying to be like 2001 A Space Odyssey, but it's Star Trek. You want to see, you know, some combat and stuff. So then when Wrath came out, it was like, yeah, it was great. It was great. Yeah, it was fantastic. Another show going bye bye. Everybody loves Raymond. Yeah, May sixteenth. Uh, wow. th- the good news is is that they're not going to try and do some Seinfeld. You know, wrap everything up. You know, some grand. It's just going to be they pretty didn't much really wrap up Seinfeld. They're still sitting in that jail. That somewhere. they are there in that jail. Go. So with, doing hard time with the fat guy. <laughs> But they're gonna. It's basically gonna be like a regular episode. They're gonna do like an hour-long clip show beforehand. Then they'll do sort of a, a regular half-hour goodbye. And you know, uh, we'll 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 hope for the best. I, you know, the show slid for me. I used to think it was very very funny. Past year or two, it just hasn't really hit it as much for me. Probably best to go out now. First season, I watched it and thought it was really good. As a matter yeah. of fact, I actually was having to defend it uh, with Opie. I remember him saying, "Oh, all these sitcoms that are coming." I go, "No, that one's pretty good." And then it just really started stinking. Yeah, it's sort of way, you know, it's hard when you're on that long, as, as you know, you just say help, fresh and new, and it just, you know. Oh, tell us about it. I can't, be, <laughs> I can't be bothered with the sitcoms like everybody yeah. does, Raymond. I mean, I love Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's my yeah. show, man. That's mm-hmm. that's the type of thing I, I want to see more of. Buy the DVD box, and it's like taxi, all that stuff, watch it, and just oh, let yeah, the yeah. networks just go into the toilet with their shit mm-hmm. awful shows. Buy the old show, All in the Family. They're just the great. Buy the old shows, watch yeah. them, yeah. Bob Newhart just came out on DVD. Hilarious. How brilliant yeah. was the so ending of that great. show? With Suzanne yeah. Plachette? Yeah. Oh, dude, oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 Survivor. Survivor. I, I used to be a huge Survivor fan. I, yeah. I saw the first maybe three or four, and then I just kind of faded away as a viewer. I think it comes and goes. It's really like a. It's one of those. Sh- it has good seasons and bad seasons, and it sort of depends on the cast. And I think this season's actually been pretty good. Last season was was a stinker. This one I think's been pretty good. You know, they had that one tribe just got decimated all the way down, and so uh, I, I think it's been a pretty good season. What's what what is interesting though is you know they got Boston Rob and Amber. From the All Stars, they're on the Amazing Race. That finale is uh, May 10th, and then they're going to air their wedding on May 24th. I just though don't see how that's interesting unless Boston Rob is like you know somehow, you know, swindling the florist. I don't know really where the intrigue's going to come from that. Yeah, I have no idea. For oh, chicks, I guess. maybe no, she doesn't I mean about show, the show. Maybe she doesn't show up to the wedding. Oh, there. And you then go. there's a police investigation because she went out jogging. Maybe she goes out jogging, <laughs> turns up missing. <laughs> went jogging down the beach. The and police declared a criminal case. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, the, the, their whole appeal is just how, you know, uh, down and dirty they can get in a, in a gaming strategic element. I don't know what, what, what's going to happen with that wedding, you know. I, well, Survivor's still, you know, getting the ratings, though. Yeah, 20 million people. I mean, 20 million people. It's pretty crazy. It's I know nobody season. that watches it. Like, I don't even... It doesn't have that water cooler talk that it, it did the first couple of seasons, that's for sure. You know, no, nothing really has water cooler talk now. It seems in a sense, because the way that it is, you know, you TiVo it, not everyone's watching it at when it's on. At the same time. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. People I mean, bring uh, bottled water to work. That's, that's, that's right. part of the problem. Tough crowd you know? had that. That's the last show. It was a tough crowd. Tough Tommy crowd. Said, Colin Quinn's a tough crowd. That is, you make a, you there make he goes a, again. You make a no, good, a good show. He makes a really good point, though. When mm-hmm. Seinfeld was on Thursday nights, Friday, everybody was talking about it yeah. around work. ER was another show all, people yeah, talked all those, about a lot. I mean, you can name Blue. a million of those shows, but with the TV yeah. and everything else, Renzy they're so light. Oh. They're watching it at all different times, yeah. and we're not syncing up as a... As a society, as far as our TV viewing anymore, we people in our office are literally walking around the mornings with, with their hands over their ears because they don't want to hear people talking about it. I mean, you you almost don't want to talk yeah. about it and ruin it for someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the that's best way to talk about that's it. That's just spoil it. Go ahead, <laughs> wreck it for everybody. Uh, family Guy, Family Guy, and, and American Dad, and American Dad. Seth you know, new. You, I, he was on here, right? Did you guys have him on? Yeah, yeah. we had um, yeah Seth on and uh, Alex, who does Lois. 
And uh, I can't, I couldn't be happier that they bring that show back. I just hope they don't lose their edge because the climate's different now, you know. It, it, here's what's interesting about it. Okay, we know the show was on, right? It got, it got uh, canceled. It, it, it comes out on DVD, huge smash. But a huge smash for DVD is about two million. I think it's sold mm -hmm. about two million. The question is, is it going to be able to do network numbers to stay on a network? That's yeah. really because if two million people are passionate about, it, they watch. But that's all it watches. We all know that's a flop. For network, so are other people now going to come to the party? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see on what that. What do you think, Arrested Development coming mm. back or no? I, I, you know, I really hope so. I just, I think it's hilarious. I think it it's great. Funny it's funny. It's inventive. It's different. It's, it's what TV needs. It, what's really interesting about it is you know all these fans trying to save shows. We told about the, uh, the, the two people on Star Trek, but Fox has actually organized their own Save Arrested Development campaign, which is really sort of odd. Yeah, aren't they <laughs> the ones that really make the? Uh, they make final the decision, decision, but they've started a website and they're like sending out T-shirts and doing all this stuff. I, you know, it, it gives prestige to Fox Network. I know that's almost an oxymoron to put prestige and Fox Network in the yeah. same sentence. But it's, it really doesn't do big numbers. They put after The Simpsons. It's still not doing it, but it's hilarious. It's just great. It is, and it just goes to show you the kind of crap that the, the public uh, in, in general l licks up. Oh, yeah. Just garbage gets uh, numbers. And then uh, uh, anything new, inventive, a little different, a li something that might take a little more thought or some getting used to than just plopping down in front of the same basic formula-driven sitcom crap. Uh, it doesn't do well because people are just stupid. They don't want to. Yeah, they just want to. They want to. They want to tune out. They don't mm -hmm. want to. Do, want to think. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I mean, there's like my friend and I were talking, and, and TV in general is just so like watered down. And I mean, is it because of uh, the the mentality? Well, I think I think I think it's also that you know there's so much more out there. And the whole market's so saturated. So there are still good programs on television. Probably if you count up the number of good television shows on television now, if you include cable, there used to be, you get the same number even even more. Right. But it's just the crapola meter's out of control on the other side. So there is some good stuff there, but you have to weed through so much bad stuff just to get to it. You know? Yeah, but we were watching. I, I never saw Arrested Development. Was it second or third season? Second season. Just and, and he's like, dude, this show is just like, I'm like, well, you know. It's great. You got to check it out. Get, I mean, that's why the DVDs are great. You can go back, get the DVDs, see the whole first season, and it's uh, you know David Cross is in and he's hysterical, and it's just it's 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 something you wouldn't expect to see on Fox, which is probably the best endorsement for it. Very good. All right. Anything else in uh, May sweeps we haven't covered? Uh, I know Oprah's doing some kind of wacky shows. She's getting like twins together. One's really really fat, and the other one's very <laughs> thin and petite. Wow. And for some reason, that's a big deal. And then there's uh. Then she's doing another one on twins where one of them had a sex change. This is the she's going that route. She's going the Maury uh, route with the freaks. Yeah, I like guess freak show kind of thing. Yeah, I, I saw some commercials on that, and I'm thinking that's not what Oprah does. Got to give Maury his props, man. That guy's been around for you know a lot of talk shows come and go. Maury Povich knows what works. Bring on the freaks and the DNA tests. Yeah, that's unbelievable. The only shows he does is bring on you know baby mama. And uh, bring on the daddy, do a little DNA testing, see if it's the father. And then, uh, on the other hand, he brings in little progeria kids and uh, uh, fat infants and uh, other freaks. He's like uh, P.T. Barnum. you got to wonder him. what his dad, Shirley Povich, who is just an incredibly well-respected uh, uh, journalist, is thinking in his grave when he sees Maury doing some of that stuff. I don't know. Well, I, think, uh, I don't think he's really thinking. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think he's thinking too much. I'm thinking... Uh, <laughs> Uh, look, at all the, look at all the house Maury lives in. What a dope I was. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking it out at the Washington Post for all those years, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, uh, you know, there, there's some other specials. The Muppets are back. I don't know. I got a soft spot in my heart for the Muppets. I don't know. I like really? Animal. Yeah. You know what I am? They took a picture with De Niro, and he turned me down. He takes a picture yeah, with the... Yeah, he took a picture with Muppets. Fucking cloth puppets. Ugh, that really hurt. Should have put a little mop on your head. Yeah. Walked up to him. Oh. Oh. I'm sure he would have loved that. Bob! <laughs> <laughs> Poke him with a big fuzzy finger. <laughs> All right, we want to thank uh, Dalton Ross for stopping in. Oh, Thanks, we're going to let him thank go. You, I know. We well, would let, let you go. We, we, let you well, we have to do the news and a couple other things. We'd love to have you part of the program from time to time. Come in and do some TV stuff with Absolutely, us. Absolutely, guys. It's been, been, a, been a pleasure. Sure. All right. Mm, my uh, pleasure. What are we uh, plugging here? E Entertainment Weekly? Entertainment Weekly. It's a good plug. Uh, I do a... Uh... Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, that's yeah it, it's huh? not worth plugging other stuff, you know. Show up here and there. Entertainment Weekly, that's the weekly gig. That's what pays the bills. Yeah. Do you do articles on people and stuff? Yeah. Ooh. Better watch Ooh. out. Ooh. <laughs> 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 All right, it's Dalton Ross, everyone.